Hey everybody, welcome into this week's edition of the Top 5 from Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Krizak. We're actually out here fishing uh, Lake Shabanaugh here in Illinois, fishing muskies. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're getting ready for fall muskie fishing, and we're going to count down the top five fall muskie baits you should be throwing on your favorite muskie waters. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is actually bucktails. When the fish are on, or you're just looking to find active fish, maybe not even so much stick them, but just to be able to find fish in an area, there's no better search bait than a bucktail. And the two that we like to throw the most, especially in the fall, are the double bladed models. And we like the Musky Attacker Double Seven, and also for Musky Attacker, the Big Chuck model, which is the big double 10 blades. They create a lot of turbulence in the water, a lot of vibration, a lot of thump. You never have to worry about kickstarting those blades on those baits, so they're always spinning as soon as they hit the water. Good solid baits, and really nice lift. They're easy to retrieve even with the double blades, both the sevens and the tens. You can fish them all day long. And what's nice, even if you don't stick the fish on that bait, you'll be able to get a follow and you can come back and work that area with one of the other baits we're gonna talk about a little later on. But by far and away, when you're first starting out, especially early in the fall, as things start to get really cold and the water temperature says, you know, drops below say 65-ish, we're gonna probably put the bucktails away at that point. But prior to that, always start out throwing those bucktails and find the active fish. Now another great option, another great presentation, when we're working deep weed lines, submerged rock bars, even suspended fish over open water is a crankbait. Now crankbait is a lot more than just throwing it out and reeling it in. And the baits that I love, especially in the fall, are from Booker Tail, the Booker Depth Raider. And I prefer the straight model. If I'm trolling, I'll go more to the jointed model. But when we're casting that straight model depth raider, we can not only do a straight retrieve, we can do a stop and go retrieve, we can add some twitches into it, and really cover a lot of areas of the water column and make it look like a distressed bait fish. But a lot of times, that's really the best option, deep weed edges or submerged structure, rocks, deep timber, things like that, wherever you're fishing. Sunken points, sunken islands, reefs. And don't be afraid too, if you start it up shallow and you're banging bottom a little bit, that's okay too. And then work it out to the deep stuff, but never leave home without a crankbait. Twitch baits are phenomenal, especially when that weather changes. And when we're talking like a twitch bait, we're talking like the cranes. And the crane, it's a balsa wood bait, so it has a nice rise to it if you're over any kind of weed beds, cabbage beds, milfoil beds, anything like that. You can pause it, it'll back itself out of that, that cover. And a lot of times, especially when that first big cold snap hits, we can actually add a weight system to it to actually get that bait to suspend even more. Now the JB weight systems were always the original ones to go to. They're not really available anymore, obviously, but the Berms bait systems, they work just as well too. You'd be able to weight your, your, your twitch baits like your cranes and actually keep them to hang in that, that strike zone a little bit longer. Now we integrate long pauses, sometimes short pauses, play around, see exactly what the fish want on that particular day. And that's the magic of throwing a twitch bait like the crane. Musky soft plastics, my goodness, the staple, if you will, of fall muskies. The nice thing about a soft plastic is there's no wrong way to fish it. Like we're talking bulldogs. When you're fishing a bulldog, you're always fishing it no matter what. If you straight retrieve it, if you do a stop and go retrieve, anytime you pause it, if it's fallen, that tail's moving. If you lift it, you're jigging it, the tail's moving. If you pull it like a pull bait or a jerk bait, no matter what you're doing, it's always moving. That tail is always moving unless it's just flat out sitting on the bottom. And again, there's various models, the shallow dogs where we can work a little bit shallower on the flats. But again, for brake lines, points, 
the open water structure and suspended fish. When we have to really slow down, that's where the bulldog comes into play. Now I really like throwing a lot, like if I'm pulling suckers behind the boat, usually I'll be throwing a bulldog as well. And it's a good one-two combo to be doing. Now by far and away, my absolute favorite thing to do in the fall is a glider. And there are so many glide style jerk baits on the market. And when it comes to musky baits, the most asked question I always get is, Tone, what is the best glider on the market? And I think I shock people a lot of times with my answer because I go to an oldie but a goodie from Fidelity, the Reef Hog. Now there's a lot of models of jerk baits out there, don't get me wrong, glide baits. But there's something about that Reef Hog. The way it glides side to side, it has a little bit of a roll to it as it's gliding. They're easy to work. I mean, in fact, that's exactly what I'm throwing right now. Uh, to me, that bait just, when it rolls and glides, it'll just have that little bit of a roll up to it. And just perfect sways to it, easy to work. You just tap the rod. Most people think if they haven't ever thrown a glider before, that you have to actually move the rod side to side. It's just a straight down motion, slack in the line. The reel is doing nothing but picking up slack line. Your actual bait is being moved strictly just by the rod tip on that slack line and just those light touches gets that bait dancing. And I will tell you, I have caught more fish on a reef hog than any other glider on the market today. They still produce, by far, in my opinion, the best one. So that wraps up our top five. What are some of your favorite top five baits to throw in the fall for these big muskies? Whether you're in Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, going up north making trips to Minnesota, Canada, wherever you're going, we want to hear about it. What did we leave off the list that you can't leave home without when you're fishing muskies? We'd love to see it in the comments. Of course, be sure to always check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Fishing, where you can like and follow us there and find out all the happenings for Spot on Fishing. Right now we're going to get back to fishing out here at Chabanaugh. Tough lake to fish, man. I'll tell you, we keep trying to always come out here and produce a show. Always seems we do better when we leave the big cameras at home, but hey, we're gonna keep plugging away out here. Enjoy it, thanks for watching. Again, my name's Tony Krizak. We'll see you next time on Tony's Spot on Fishing.